Yeah. Hi, my name is Marcus. My partner Kai and I will be showing you how to use a loop program in ultrasonic sensor to move containers from one loading zone to the other. We found this challenge on Carnegie Mellon's EV3 programming website. This is from Chapter 7's Container Handling Challenge. To find it, scroll down to Program Flow and the Loops and click on Challenge. Scroll to the bottom and choose the PDF to see the challenge. Then, go back to the desktop, click on Lego Mindstorms, and once it finishes loading, click File, New Project, Program, Open, and once it shows your screen, you can close the content editor from Workspace. To program this challenge, first go to the orange tab, which is the flow control menu. Then select the loop block and connect it to the play button. Go to the action tab and pick out move steering so the robot will drive forward. Put it inside the loop. Turn it to on and change the power to 35. A slower speed is more precise for grabbing a cuboid. Next, go back to the flow control menu and choose the white block and put it in the loop after move steering. Switch it to the ultrasonic by clicking time and switch it to ultrasonic, compare, and distance centimeters. Then set compare type to five to make the robot stop equal to or less than the threshold value. Change threshold value to four for four centimeters. The reason you are doing this is so the ultrasonic will detect the cuboid in the loading zone four centimeters away. Go back to the action tab and choose move steering. Put it in after the weight block and change the on for rotations to off. This will cause the robot to stop four centimeters away from the cuboid. Then choose media motor block from the action menu. Put it in after the move steering and change to on for degrees by clicking on for rotations and clicking on for degrees. This program block moves a lift gate. Changing the power to 5 and change the degrees to negative 135 so the lift gate goes down to capture the cuboid. Once the robot has the cuboid, he'll need to move one motor to turn around. In order to do this, select a large motor block from the action menu and place it after the medium motor block. Set the rotation to 2.235. and change the port to B. After he has turned around, he'll need to drive forward to the other loading zone. To do this, select a move steering block and put it in after the large motor block. Set the rotations to 4.8. Our loading zones are 84 centimeters apart. So 4.8 rotations will bring our robot back. Now get a medium motor block, put it in after the move steering and change the on for rotations to on for degrees. Then if you need more space, move the arrow sideways. Then change the degrees to 135 so the lift gate moves back into an up position and leave the cuboid at the loading zone. You next need to turn your robot around so he can loop and get the next cuboid. To back up the robot, select a move steering block, put it in after the medium motor block, and change the rotations to negative 0 0.754. So the robot doesn't crash into the cuboid when it turns around to get the second cuboid. Then, choose a large motor block, put it in after the move steering block, and switch power to 35 and rotations to 2.235. Change the port to B. At the end of the loop, change unlimited to count by clicking unlimited and choosing count. Then set count to two. This will cause your program to loop twice and pick up two cuboids. Before you run your program, tape down two square loading zones, 84 centimeters apart, and line up your robot at the front of the first loading zone facing the first cuboid. 
Make sure you put the two cue boys in the front half of the second box. Line it up with the meter stick as shown here. To line up the robot, first make the ro with the meter stick, make the robot go straight to the other box and move the cuboids so the meter stick will go straight through the middle. Make sure to line the EV3 up with the cuboids and make sure the EV3 goes to the other box but you can move the cuboids closer. Next you will see our EV3 robot in action. Thank you for watching.